No, nothing like that. Okay, so Mashika, so Mashika ain't about that. She ain't listen, listen. I got, got this. Oh, well, I'm, a, I'm about it. I'm just not, you know, <laughs> married. I'm not married, Mister yet. I ain't trying to be married just yet. You know, I'm just living life. You know. Okay. I do. I do my ones and twos. You know? right, ain't nothing wrong with that. Listen, it's getting cold too. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a naughty girl. I'm a naughty girl. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. It's... Ooh, let me tell you, Spike. Let me stop. <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> so you got to have your beer sometime. You already have... know. Hey, listen. We got porn stars that come up here. It gets super lit. So we already. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Shit talking gets... about. Now you talking my language. See, shit gets spicy. I know you spicy. I know, I know you're a little spicy over there. I can tell by the lyrics. Listen, you can't be talking those lyrics, and uh, no, not to say that you, you know, but you have to know. You know what I mean? You can't just be, you know, that's like a white man trying to rap black. You know exactly. What I'm it don't go. So we know, you know, you know what I mean? I'm just like, oh shit, it's getting lit. And um, yeah, listen, <laughs> listen, we all grow. What, what's your sign? What's your sign? I'm a Capricorn. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. See, I'm a Scorpio, so see, we know. You know okay, what I mean? okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah. I said, Scorpios, <laughs> we don't play. We don't play, and it's spicy all the time. Like, sometimes somebody call me the Black Howard Stern. I'm like, all right, that nigga's wild. But I'll take it, though. I'll take it, though. <laughs> I'll take it. Right. Uh, so when you perform. I know, that's right. Yeah, I mean, when you perform, do you, are you, um, um, do you get like seductive with the lyrics? I mean, do you, you know what I mean? Because sometimes people give a performance, and then you know, it, they perform yeah, and they the whole thing. Yeah, see, well, see, one thing about me, one thing I can say, I'm seductive when I don't even try to be. You oh, know, shit. like I'm, I'm one of those women that's like, when I come in your present, yeah, it's in, instantly. Oh, that you, mind, you know what I'm that saying? Whole that. Aura. You know, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm something, I'm something else, like, definitely, and I don't even try to be, I don't try to be, just, it's just everything, my whole aura, everything about me, I just come off like that, I'm just, I'm just a real, a real seductive woman, you know, so, and when it comes to my performances, oh yeah, I definitely sell sex, you know, <laughs> with, with, with class, I okay, sell no, sex, let's... with class. I see, we can tell by the pictures, by your posts, by the lyrics, like, you know, you gotta be... A man, you know what I mean? You got, you got, you got to roll right. You know, yeah, exactly. You got to be a man to handle this, and that's the reason why, like, I be where I'm at sometimes, because, you know. But they don't be acting right. You got to be a lot, a lot of men, a lot of men to handle me. <laughs> you gonna handle me? You huh? know, in between. So, how, how's the scene out there in Jersey? I mean, um, is there a preference like between Jersey men and New York men? Um, uh, you said, are they, I'm gonna be honest, like. I actually like New York men. Huh? And the reason why I like, you said, what's my preference, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, I actually, well, see, I'm from Jersey, so it's like, okay, like, I already, you know, I'm cool off these kind of guys now. But when I do come out, like, you know what I'm saying, you know, <laughs> when I come out to New York, it's like, it's the guys out there are a little different. They're more aggressive, I feel. And I like that. Like, I like yeah. a real aggressive. Because I'm, I'm an aggressive female to a certain extent, so... Like, I feel like, you know, like, my guy got to be, like, you know, I like an aggressive man. Someone that's not scared to, like, you know what I'm saying, yoke me up. Yeah. Choke me some time, you know. Yeah, you know, come here, girl. You know, you know what I'm Yeah, choke me and hit it right. You feel me? Like, I need that, you know. Yeah, I like no that. Like... I don't want nobody. I don't like a scary guy. Like, I like a, you know, aggressive guy. And you Also, New York has got, like, an accent. And I like the accent as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's definite. Um, and you know, like I told somebody a little while ago, I said, I think making love died in the nineties. That's that rough shit right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, now it's all fucking. That's right. I haven't. I haven't like. I'm like, okay, I'm doing my tailor tape. Like, nah, I can't say that. Nah, it's all been you know, thrown around the room. You know, wake up the next day like, holy shit. That was good. Right. Though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah don't nobody want to make love. I'm, nah, like, I'm, you know, I'm trying to get fucked hard. Wow, crazy. I'm trying to do a porn hub. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we trying to get... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Call me names and shit. Don't be making love. Don't be over there like, ooh, baby, you like it? Like, no, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't take it easy at all. <laughs> nah, that's, that's what it is. Like, I've met, and I know that there's... There's a passion for that, like, you know, 
can't be over there making love. You know, it's just uh, you make. I mean, there's times like you know you had those times where you know y'all get into something and you know make a love. But after a while, something yeah. gets thrown around. You know what I'm saying? You just have to know. Yeah, that. you know sometimes making love is a little overrated. Yeah, yeah. Like I like shit. Just you know a little what I mean? bit. Uh, it's it's cool though. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes you know making love really be right and right. get that thing you know what I'm saying seasoned up right. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, long day. You know what I mean. Everything's right yeah. now. You know it's peaceful. But them Hennessy nights. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh man. So, so um, as far as um your 2019. And we're getting ready to come to 2020, which is a whole new decade. Yes. Whole, are you excited? Are you ready for it? I really am. I'm truly excited. You know what I'm saying? Because I always look at, you know, the new year. That new beginning to me is, like, big. So, I just, you know, I like to prep. And I think everybody does that, too. Though. Everybody preps and make a whole list of, like, of mad shit they ain't going to do. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure I, like, you know what I'm saying, do everything I put on my list and, you know. I got some new accomplishments. I need to like, you know, make sure I attack. And I'm just, I'm, I'm definitely excited for the new year. What I would like to change about myself is my eating habits. Like, I definitely want to like cut out the meat. You know, too much. Like, I really don't want to. I, I ain't trying to go all the way vegan. Like, you know, what I'm saying I ain't trying to sound like no skinny <laughs> bitch. <but. laughs> I just no want to, you know, what I'm saying nigga. slow it down a bit and. Another thing, I need to. I want to go extremely hard. Like I need to go double times harder than what I went this year. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to my music and also in that in the acting world, so I'm gonna be doing a whole lot more auditions and oh. you know we're working on a a new a new film called Sister. You know what I'm saying? Which is basically like a little it's basically like a little story. You know, coming speaking from my point of view. Really? You know what I'm saying? Like so. How long? How long have you had the acting I'm, mode? Say it again. So you just started getting into acting this year, or or has that been a little bug that you've been wanting to do? Well, you. Well, yeah, it's, it's basically something that I've been wanting to do for a while. You know what I'm saying? But I put that on my list for my 2020. So, you know, I just was, you know, giving you my three. So, like right now, I'm basically like getting things in order so I can know exactly, you know, where I need to like fly out at for the auditions and getting everything all you know, situated and in line. So, you know, 2020 come, I'm on go. You know what I'm saying? I'm on go. I know exactly what I got to do exactly at this time, this month, you know. So just getting everything in order, you know what I'm saying? So, and we actually worked on the visual, the visuals for Lollipop. We got we got Ooh. a couple camps. We actually working on, yeah, working on the campaign actually right now. So, like, we have a lot to give for the Lollipop, you know, single when it comes to the visuals. We just haven't really, like, you know, gave it all, gave it, gave it to everybody just yet. But it's definitely coming, you know what I'm saying? It's being edited right now because I need things to really be popping, you feel me? It got to be equivalent to the song. I can't yes. put out a fire song and my visuals ain't equivalent. Gotta I'm be, ready. So. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for that video. That video better be. Listen, listen, baby. <laughs> I couldn't be in that studio. I'm like, Wee, you about how many takes is this? Oh my <laughs> lord! <laughs> I know that booth was on fire that day. Really? Right. <laughs> I mean, so what? I mean, I mean, like, what is? I don't want to say inspired, but I mean, like. Song. To yeah. be honest, like, I was just vibing in the studio, you know what I'm saying? Got my little drink in my cup, you sipping, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm just what put on the you, beat, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wait, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a party girl, so it's like, we like to party. It's like Lottie Pop, Lottie Pop, you know what I'm saying? We don't bother nobody, but, you know, we like to party. Then it come out of nowhere, like, let me think about when, I forget the name of the song that we, you know what I'm saying, that be, it's like, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh my God! Sunday. Don't sing! Don't sing that! Don't sing that! Don't you want to know why? Oh why? my God! You just hit a nerve. You hit a, a a deep chord, and you didn't even know that. That was my mother's um, first song when she put, like when she went. We went to California. Oh. I'm serious. I'm gonna tell you this. Oh I never, God, I, really? I never told. I swear to God. Swear to God. That Saturday oh, that's love. amazing. Oh, my God. That's amazing. This is... So this, that inspired me to put that... You know, that inspired me. You know what I'm saying? To put that melody in the song. I'm telling you. And that's why I picked up... I'm like, oh, this is great. That's why I said, listen, I got to make sure I get this song today. Because that song is sentimental to me. Because that was my mother's first 
uh, when she decided to start being a dancer, we moved from New York to California, and she decided to be a dancer, and that was like her first dance routine with a guy. I remember, I think his name was Leroy, some shit like that. And and but that was her first performance was Saturday Love, and then from there they went on TV. Um, her and the group they went on TV to putting on the hits. They lost. But, you know, they made it out the hood. You know what I'm saying? They were in Hollywood. Got yeah, but still, everything. that's but that, still amazing. That's still interesting to know, definitely. But I remember that song. Like, as, as soon as I hear that song, I could I could be doing absolutely nothing. As soon as I hear that song, I'm up. Oh, shit. And now, I, I mean, Yeah, you feel me? It got that vibe. It got that vibe. That's what I'm saying. It got that, it got that vibe for the old school. Was, it got that vibe for the young school. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's in between. It, 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 it's, it, it's for everybody. And that's basically, the, that was the key of making a song, making a song that's universal. A song that everybody can kind of get jiggy with. And it's like, I, even, to be honest, even the kids, because if you're not as intelligent to understand what's going on, you're going to look at it like, you know, a lot of people, like my son, he be singing a song. He's thinking about really a lollipop for real, for real. He's not thinking like, <laughs> I know, you know, right? What us adults are thinking. You know what I mean? Like, he think about a little lollipop. Like, yeah, you gotta, 